very good morning friends welcome to our geological zone today we will deal with the concept of phase rule okay so phase rule the concept of phase rule so before start phase rule first we will deal with the concept of phase first we will deal with the concept of phase the phase is a chemically chemically and physically chemically and physically distinct distinct and separable part separable part of a system known as phase they the component component may be defined as the chemically chemically distinct species needed to describe needed to describe the system means phase rule totally depends on the number of phases and the number of components so phase rule the expression for phase rule is f is equal to c minus p plus 2 okay where where f means the degree of freedom f means the degree of freedom c means the number of components c means the number of components and p means the number of phases the number of phases means the phase rule mainly consisting of the number of components and the number of phases on the basis of number of component and the number of phases we calculate the degree of we calculate the degree of freedom first we will explain the water system first we will explain the water system water system obviously water system is applicable for the chemistry students as well as the geology students okay we calculate the degree of freedom freedom of water system on the basis of the number of components as well as the number of phases so we apply the phase rule on water system and calculate the value of degree of freedom so our formula is f is equal to c minus p plus 2 okay so in a water system the chemical composition of water the chemical composition of water is h2 o okay means water system mainly consisting of only one component means c is equal to 1 then the number of phases the number of phases present in water system is equal to Three means three phases like solid, liquid, solid, liquid, and gas. So in water system, there is only one component present in water system, and three phases present in water system. Number one, the solid; number second, the liquid; and number third, the gaseous phase. Okay, we apply. Or we put the values in formula like F is equal to number of component means one number of phases F is equal to C minus P means one minus three plus two so F is equal to F is equal to one minus three means minus two plus two so F is equal to zero means the water system the degree of water system. The, the degree of freedom of water system is zero. Means the result is the result is 
the system the water system water system is non linear non linear or invariant non linear or invariant so this is about the water system and the degree of freedom for water system on the basis of phase rule we apply the phase rule on silica system also we apply the phase rule on silica system also as i o2 so we apply this, the phase rule on silica system the chemical composition of silica system is si2 that is a combination of silica and oxygen si2 means this is also the one component system silica system is also a one component system so one component system so we apply the phase rule on silica system means again we apply this f is equal to c minus p plus 2 so in silica system in silica system the component is one means the number of component is one minus p so we don't know about the number of phases present in the silica system so we discuss about the forms different forms so we deal with only one form of silica system one form one stable form of silica system means one stable form of silica system having only one phase two form having two phases and three forms having three phases so we will deal with the one phase only in silica system we will deal with only one phase in silica system means f is equal to 1 the number of component then number of phases number of phases is also 1 means 1 minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 plus 2 means the answer is 2 so f is equal to 2 the system is divergent the system is divergent just because of the number of phases present in the system is 1 okay we apply the number of phases 2 also and 3 also in the silica system so this is about the phase rule phase rule we apply the phase rule on water system also just because of the physical chemistry and we apply the phase rule on silica system just because of the geology means there are two examples of phase rule number one the chemistry number first example based on the chemistry and number second example based on the geology so this lecture applicable for the geological students also and the chemistry students also thanks a lot guys please like subscribe and comment